Hello, good evening. How are you? Welcome to the class. And I guess that this will be almost almost the last the last class, right? Or not the last class, the last week, right? La última semana. Thank you for being here. Máximo, Rina, Claudia, Rosemary. Gracias por estar a tiempo. Let me see here. Okay, we didn't have any homework, right? No teníamos tarea. So just let me see. Uh, para esta semana, for this week, we are going to finish section four and section five. And uh, this week, we won't have classes on Friday. No vamos a tener clases el 24, porque ya esta semana es normal. Tuvimos las uh, clases, las demás clases el viernes pasado y el, el 10 y el 17, porque, pues, para terminar justos el 28, ¿verdad? El 28 de febrero, para que no quedara cortado. Pero ahora sí, ya, ya esta semana, el viernes, no vamos a tener ninguna clase, ya solo de lunes a jueves y la próxima clase, las últimas dos, serían el lunes 27 y el martes 28. Así que ya casi terminamos. We almost finished with the classes. Um, esta semana van a terminar en la sección 4, pero también tienen que avanzar en la sección 5 y el final exam, ya que el martes 28 pues va a ser el último, el último día para que puedan entregarlo y así no van a tener ningún problema con el, 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 el diploma, ¿verdad? Que le van a dar para esta para esta, este módulo. Solo estoy tratando de abrir el, la plataforma porque la vez pasada algunas personas tuvieron eh, problemas o estaban preguntando ahí por WhatsApp. Entonces, I'm just trying to open it. No sé si alguno tiene alguna, alguna pregunta de la, de la plataforma de la sección 4 o de la sección 5. Y si no, pues vamos a continuar. No, teacher. No questions. Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue then with uh, this presentation with the section 4. Let me see here. So this will be the first objective. In this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. So this would be the topic for this class, feelings and gestures, right? Emociones y ademanes, which will be kind of difficult because we cannot see each other because of the camera, right? Uh, but we will see different gestures with uh, some descriptions that we have here, some pictures. So we have emojis, right? Nowadays with WhatsApp or with social media, social networks, it's really, um, really common to use emojis. So we have like, for example, I'm bored, I love it, I am not amused, great job, that's awful, that's amazing, just kidding. I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. I'm so embarrassed and my heart is breaking. So these are some, some popular emojis that people use. Uh, I don't know if you use emojis. What, what is the, the favorite emoji? The one that you use? Or you don't use emojis at all? No use and emojis. Do you use any emoji in your conversations? Yes, all the time. Emojis and stickers. Okay. And do you have any favorite emoji or sticker? Uh, maybe I'm bored. That's my favorite. I'm bored. Yes, exactly. I'm bored. Exactly. Um. Yeah. That 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 is um the one the one of of many emojis that I use and also one that is smiling, but it's not smiling. It's like just showing the teeth. 
That is another one that I use. Very good. Perfect. So uh, these are some emotions, right? We try to say what how we feel through emojis. So this is also how body language work, right? For example, the first girl, she's scratching her head. Let me make it bigger. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Déjenme ver. Okay, we are going to describe the women that we are going to see here right now. Vamos a tratar de describirlas, just to check what they're doing. So, the first woman is like scratching her head. What do you think she's trying to do? Like what 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 is she is like she annoyed, confused, embarrassed, frustrated, irritated, bored, disgusted, exhausted, impatient, or nervous? How would you describe that? She's confused. She's confused, exactly. And the mm -hmm. second one, the girl, she's biting her nails. Nervous. 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 Probably, yes, she's nervous, probably, yes. And the, the girl rolling her eyes, she's rolling her eyes. Irritated? Probably she's irritated, yes, or bored, right? Um... The one in the green square, she's tapping her foot. Impatient. Impatient, Patient. yes. And the one that is pulling her hair out. Irritated. Irritated, yes, irritated. And the one that she's wrinkling her nose. Disgusted. Disgusted. Annoyed, annoyed exactly. Annoyed, disgusted. Those will be uh the feelings right so with body language we can uh perceive people's feeling that, that we can see right so with gestures we have feeling gestures that is kind of similar for example if it, if you are biting your nails you're nervous if you're rolling your eyes you're kind of uh, annoyed or bored right if you're scratching your head you're confused probably if you're tapping your foot you're impatient if you're twirling your hair, probably you are um, nervous, right? And if you're wrinkling your nose, probably you are annoyed, right? Or uh, disgusted. Very good. Perfect. So in this class, you will listen, practice, and learn about body language using models and adverbs. So we have this uh, conversation. Have you listened to this conversation in the platform? ¿Ya escucharon no. esta conversación en la plataforma? No. No. No, okay, let's listen to it, okay? I'm going to be a listener because I'm looking after my baby. Okay, Wendy, no problem. Okay, so we are in section four. Let me share it here. No, no problem, Wendy, no problem. Okay. So we are going to listen to the conversation first and then we are going to practice it, okay? I guess I don't know where it will look better. But we will I will I will try to play it here on the platform. La voy a poner aquí en la plataforma. Vamos a ver si se mira mejor ahí. Okay, this is the conversation and it says, Have you met Rash? So we are going to Listen to it and let's pay attention, okay? Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, 
he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, do you understand the conversation? Like this. Did you understand the conversation? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes. perfect. So what was the problem? What was the communication problem that they had in the in the conversation? J A Raj moved the head mm -hmm. side to side. Exactly. Yeah. He he moved it like this, right? Probably. And every time that she was talking to him, he was saying like this. And what does it mean in India? That gesture. It, he's agree he's with agreeing. her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He is agreeing, right? In India, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Okay, so that's what it means. Perfect. So do you have any question about pronunciation and new words? Preguntas? No questions. Okay, perfect. So I will read it and then we are going to practice it, right? Like I need, I will need just two volunteers. I guess that I have them. Uh, but I will read it first, okay? It says, have you met Rash, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice. But, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. So that's what it means. Es, eso es lo que significa, right? That's what it means. Perfect. So I need two volunteers, please, to practice this conversation. Dos voluntarios, two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Gabriela, thank you. And who is going to help Gabriela? Me. Rosemary. Okay, so Gabriela will be Ron and Rosemary will be Emily and like that, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but oh. there's one thing I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, yeah. like this. Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Very good. Perfect. Perfect pronunciation. I really liked it. Let's see another person. Other two people. Me, teacher. Okay. Claudia and Sonia. Right? Okay. 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 So you will be, uh, Claudia, you will be Ron and Sonia will be Emily. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Have you meet Rad, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I nourish. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this? Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head 
from side to side when you agree with you. Oh, so that's what is the mean. Very good, perfect. So, oh, so that's what it means. What is the meaning of actually? ¿Qué significa actually? De hecho. Actual. Exactly, de hecho, just me. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. So, uh, people, uh, that's why I always ask you. Um, uh, these words are really similar to the ones in Spanish, right? Se aparecen a las de español. Actually, actualmente, no, right? Is de hecho, de hecho, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side. So it's not actually, because actually it's, it means that at the moment, in this moment, right? But no, it's actually de hecho, right? Or in fact, is another synonym. Perfect, very good. Let's see if I can get out of this place. Maybe it means he does not. Okay, perfect. So this is section four, as you can see. And this is the one that you have to complete um, this week. And if it is possible, try to finish section five, right? Uh, we are going to talk about models and adverbs. So I will play this just in case that, well, you will listen to this explanation and then we are going to go deeper, right? About this, if you if you don't understand anything. But I will I will I will explain it to you also. So let's listen to this video and then uh, we will practice it. Después lo vamos a practicar uh, the models. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, perfect. So, uh, they were talking about models, right, and adverbs. Um, let me see here. What do you understand about this video? ¿Qué entendieron del video? About models and adverbs. What do you understand? What do you understand about models and adverbs? When I'm not sure about things mm -hmm. or situation, mm -hmm. I could use model or adverbs. Mm -hmm. Like this, could, maybe, and must. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. The adverb, yes. Uh, perhaps, possibly, possibly, mm -hmm. and others. Okay, very good. Yes, actually, yes, that's an idea. Very good idea, Maximo. Thank you for uh, that. 
actually yes it is correct right but when we don't know something about like we're not we're not sure about something we can use some adverbs right we had different adverbs right in the conversation we check some of them right like for example it could mean it could mean what is the meaning of that ¿Qué significa eso? it could mean podría ser podría ser mean is significar so podría puede significar, significar. Exactly. Podría significar he doesn't agree. So it's a possibility, right? And also uh, we have adverbs, right? Possibly, possibly, maybe, right? So that's what we are going to study right now. For example, um, models. We have to, we have, we are going to divide them, right? Models are might, may, could, and must. Might and may is a possibility. They are similar, are synonyms, right? Might and may, podría. And could also is a possibility, right? Podría. Must is like an 80, 90%, right? Debe de, debe de significar, right? That must mean, eso significa debe, deber. No de deber de dinero, sino que de, como que debe de ser esto, right? And adverbs. Adverbs I are, are maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, and definitely. So adverbs maybe and perhaps are synonyms, right? Maybe, tal vez, perhaps, tal vez. That is the meaning. Possibly, probably, probablemente, posiblemente, right? Synonyms, sinónimos. Definitely, definitivamente. Eso es, definitivamente significa eso. So we have models. And we have adverbs, right? And we can use them to express possibility or that we are almost sure that something means something, right? So that would be the, the possibility. For example, uh, we have these people from one to six. They are uh, doing these kind of gestures, right? But what does it mean? For example, number one, what is he trying to, to say? That sounds that crazy. That sounds crazy. <laughs> okay, very good. So that that's definitely or that's a maybe or possibly. Are you sure about that or or maybe? Definitely. Definitely, right. So that definitely means that sounds crazy. Let me see. Yeah, it might mean that sounds crazy. Very good. So as you can see, we can use models and adverbs to guess para, para adivinar, right? And number two, what is she trying to do? What is she trying to say? Number two. I'm here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's see. Yeah, it possibly means come here. Perfect. Number three. Number three. Be quiet. Be, be quiet. Be quiet. It must mean be quiet. Exactly. Number four. Peace. Peace. Let's see. Yes, it definitely means peace, right? Number five. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, let's see. Well, I think there is no more, but yeah, it can mean uh, good luck. And the last one, six. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Very good. So this is the way that we can use uh, models and adverbs, right? It might mean podría significar that sounds crazy. It possibly means come here. It must mean be quiet. It definitely means peace. So there is a difference, right? Models and adverbs. They are similar in meaning, but we use it in a different way. Los usamos de diferente manera. Unos son models y otros son adverbios. Um, let me see here. We are going to practice this conversation later, just to practice the models and also the adverbs. We are going to identify them there. But first, this is the video, right? Este es el video que acabamos de ver. So it's slight possibility, strong possibility, right? Menos a más, right? It might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, 
it possibly probably means it definitely means so it's a strong possibility definitely and must is strong possibility so if we're not sure about the meaning that's what she said in the video right we use might make could when we are not sure about something we can use these these model verbs right and uh, when we use also adverbs right when we are not sure about something we can use maybe perhaps possibly probably siempre hagan la diferencia estos son models y los del cuadro a la derecha son adverbs right maybe perhaps possibly and probably if we are sure about the meaning we use must right or the adverb definitely the model must or after definitely. So that is the difference between the strong possibility, the meaning, and the usage, right? Models and adverbs, different. Important to know, it says, the use of maybe and perhaps always go at the beginning of a sentence. Um, there are some exceptions, but most of these, most of the times it's like that, possibly, like maybe, or perhaps, right? We can use it like that. Whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. So we are going to identify this in this uh, other conversation. This conversation is, well, it's kind of similar to the one that we just uh, watched. Es similar a la que acabamos de ver. But we are going to play. Vamos a ponerla. So let's see what, what he's saying. Let's, let's listen to the pronunciation. And if you don't know any word, let me know, please. Unit 14. Now I get it. Page 93. Exercise 3. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay. Um, now, what was this conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? What was the conversation about? Are they talking about El Elin? Elen? Elena, huh? Elena. And where is Elena from? Bulgarian. Bulgaria, right? Very good. And what happened? What was the problem? Why was he why was he not I able think... to understand her? I think they don't they don't understand when she's um head her her heads up and down I think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ups and down yes and, and they don't know it could be men uh, means no exactly exactly so she was saying that she, uh, she was nodding right this is to nod it's just not she was d doing this. And actually, it can. She was trying to say no, right? In some countries, when people move their heads up and down, that means no, right? Very good, perfect. So he was, he was confused. He was confused, right, about that gesture. Very good. Now, do you have any new uh, word, una nueva palabra, or pronunciation that you don't know? Any new word? She knows. It's the same to say she moves. She nods. Nods is like a very specific um, movement. It's like saying, yes, this is not, right? This is not. Like up and down, right? Como diciendo, sí, nuts. 
she nods her, her, her head up and down. Another one. Something else. Rude. And confusing. Host. Understand. Offer. Any word? Host. 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 Host is um like for example when you invite people to your house you are the host right? Okay. Como okay. anfitrión, anfitrión. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. When you invite people to your house you are the host okay. of these people and the mm -hmm. people are your guests, right? Okay. Okay, another one or that's it? Okay, do you want to listen to it again or do you want to practice it now? I need listen to again. listen again. Okay, we are going listen. to listen to it again and then we are going to practice. Okay, no problem. Let's see. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Page 93. Exercise 3. Part B. Now listen to Elena talk to her friend. What does she find unusual about the way people in North America communicate? So, how are things at school, Elena? Oh, pretty good, actually. Do you find it easy to communicate with people? Most of the time, yes, although there are some things that seem strange to me. For instance, sometimes when a conversation is ending, people say, Hey, let's get together soon. I used to say, okay, when? And it always surprised people. Eventually, I realized, let's get together soon is just a way of saying goodbye. Right. It's not really an invitation at all. It's more like a way to say that you want to stay in touch. Yeah, I know that now. Okay, very good. So, we were able to listen to Elena this second part. Or the second time, uh, what was confusing to her for uh, people in North America? Uh, when you finish a conversation, the North American people say, uh, get together soon. Mm -hmm. And she says, when? Like, a, uh, like a, okay, tell me a, a day a day in an hour and the people less like it's like a no it's just goodbye see you soon or it's not exactly that we must to 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 have another date or something exactly that was confusing for her right like let's get together soon or see you soon right and she thought that they were uh, asking her to to meet again but no, it was just an expression, right? Yes, exactly. Very good. Perfect. So we are going to practice the conversation. Teacher? Yes. It could be the same as when you say, how are you doing? And is, that means, uh, como estas, same as, uh, how are you, right? Yes, exactly. How are you? How are you doing? Exactly similar, right? Exactly. And they almost, conf I, actually, I confuse it too. Same as Elena. <laughs> okay. Yes, exactly. So, yes, it's kind of confusing sometimes, those expressions. So, uh, but 
that's why uh, we are studying English right now and we need to know the expressions, <laughs> right? Very good. So I need two volunteers, dos voluntarios para practicar esta conversación, this conversation. Can I? Okay, Josmith, go ahead. And who will help her? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a Josmith? Somebody else? Alguien más? Another person? Me, teacher. Gabriela. Okay, go ahead, Gabriela. Uh, jo Josemite, you begin, and Gabriela continues, okay? Okay, Josemite, you can begin. Sorry. Okay. My, my microphone was, was off. Um, how was the dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? That's her name, Elena. Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, at the same time, she says no. It might means uh, she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want to anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it, mean, it means no. Really? No, I get it. Okay, very good. Very good pronunciation. Very good conversation. I, I really liked it. Perfect. So, actually, uh, this is very similar to the previous conversation, right? And also, they are using the models, right? They are using, um, let's see, it might mean, right? It might mean, podría significar, might mean she wants to accept it. Uh, it could mean she doesn't want anything. And what else? Let's see. Yeah, uh, those will be some of the models that they use, right? It could mean, it might mean, right? But we are going to check more about that information. Vamos a estudiar un poco más de esa, de esa información. So let me see what else we have here. Okay. So we have uh, these models and adverbs, right? So remember that we have to... Uh, make a difference, right? Models might, may, could, must. After a model verb, um, the verb, the main verb will be in its base form, right? Va a estar en infinitivo o en, en la voz, en, en la forma base, right? No es presente, sino que sería in the base form. So it might, may mean, it could mean, that must mean, right? Debe significar, podría significar. So, the verb will be next or after the modal verb. Aquí va después del verbo modal, va el verbo principal. Mean, significar. And adverbs, they can move, right? Los adverbios se pueden mover. For example, maybe, perhaps, they are at the beginning, right? At the beginning. Maybe, perhaps, it means... She wants to accept it. If you can see here, I will make it a little bit bigger. If you can see after maybe and perhaps there is the subject, right? It, and then the verb includes an S. Why do we write it with an S? ¿Por qué le escribimos una S y aquí no? En los, con los modas no escribimos S y con los adverbios sí. ¿Por qué?
Porque no es solo con maybe or perhaps, also with probably, right? It probably means, so it's in the middle, right? It probably means she doesn't want anything. So this, this is the subject, this is the adverb, and this is the main verb. That definitely means no. That definitely means no. As you can see, we have the adverb between the pronoun, the subject, and the verb again, right? And here there is an S. Aquí hay una S, means. Y aquí no. Could mean. Why? Can anybody tell me? Alguien? <laughs> Nadie sabe. ¿Por qué le escribimos a la S a los adverbs y a los modos no? The adverbs modify the verbs. Uh -huh. I think so. Okay. En máximo, what do you think? Because the adverb describe or modify the object. Mm -hmm. And why why the, the, the model verbs we don't we don't write an S? Porque con los models no le escribimos la S. Because we have two verbs. Model verbs and verbs. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good, Claudia. Thank you, thank you. Exactly. So uh, we have two verbs, right? The modal verbs and the main verb. And the rule says that after the modal verb, we're going to write the base form of the verb. Vamos a escribir la forma base del verbo. Right? I, just, I just said that, right? So, uh, por eso no le escribimos la S, porque después de might or made, que son verbos modales, siempre se escribe nada más la forma base del verbo. No se escribe en tercera, no se escribe conjugado sino que se escribe solo la base, mean, right? It could mean. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que le da el sentido o que, lo que le cambia, ¿verdad? El podría o el, el, la posibilidad es el, el modal, right? Es como un auxiliar ahí, está auxiliando para poder dar el mensaje. Pero en los adverbs, no, right? It means, aquí si está conjugado, está en presente, es simple present. Y aquí nada más está diciendo cómo es, ¿verdad? Maybe, perhaps, cómo es que es una posibilidad, ¿verdad? Y probably, it definitely, right? No está modificando es, su, exactamente al verbo, sino que está... Oh, sí está modificando el verbo, pero no lo está modificando de la manera que lo hace el verbo modal, ¿verdad? Que el verbo modal tiene esa regla, que después del modal se escribe el, el verbo en la base, de base form, ¿verdad? No se escribe conjugado. Y aquí con los adverbios sí se puede conjugar en presente, en pasado, en futuro. Solo porque hay solo un verbo, como Máximo dijo, ¿verdad? Now, I want more examples. Somebody gave me this. Alguien me dio estos ejemplos. Tomorrow, it might rain. Could you move your car? Maybe I will work this weekend. I probably, este está mal, I probably will go to work tomorrow. Remember that probably can be between the subject. Um, I will probably, I will probably go tomorrow. And the verb, pero in este caso, I will buy it primero y después go, right? I will probably, I will probably go to work tomorrow. Entonces, quiero que me den ejemplos ustedes. I want examples with models or with adverbs. A possibility, right? Examples. Can you give me one example or two examples, three, somebody? Ejemplos? How do we use the models and the adverbs for possibility? Um, maybe, mm -hmm. in Albert, maybe she reads a new book. Maybe, uh-huh. She reads a new book. Very good. Maybe she reads a new book. Tal vez ella lee un nuevo libro. Very good. Perfect. Another one. I could work 
next weekend? I could walk or work? Work. Work, okay. I could uh -huh. work this weekend, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good weekend. I could work this weekend, perfect. Another one with another model or adverb? Another example? Somebody else? Somebody else with must or definitely? I will definitely, definitely means to work. I will definitely? Definitely means to work. Means to work. Like this? Mm. I will definitely means to work. Like this, Sonia? Yes. Okay, what does it mean, that sentence? ¿Qué significa esa oración? Um, definitivamente voy a trabajar. Ah, okay, so I will definitely go to work, right? Oh, I will oh, definitely, okay. uh -huh, yes, I will definitely go to work. Okay, not maybe, right? Definitely, oh, perfect. Definitely. Okay. Another person? Alguien más? Con must? O con probably? Somebody else? Alguien más? La última? It must be the answer. It must be the answer. Very good. It must be the answer. You see? So this is a modal verb, right? So is we are not going to say it must is or it must are, right? So it must be the answer. And we have definitely here. Good possibility. Maybe again. Perfect. Very good. You see? Maybe she reads a new book. I could work this weekend. I will definitely go to work. It must be the answer. Very good. Perfect. You see? It's kind of easy, actually. And I will show you some examples also and some ways that we can use the models. I will make it a little bit bigger. Let me see here. And this one too. Voy a hacer más grande. Perfect. So, as you can see here, these are some examples, right? Models and adverbs of certainty. We can use the models might, may, could, must. And the adverbs maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, and definitely to express how sure we are about the meaning of signs and gestures. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. That must mean it's perfect. But not only for that, right? And no solo para los to 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 know if we are sure about the meaning of signs and gestures, but also for actions that we are going to perform, right? In the future, that something is uh we are sure about something, right, or not that sure, we can use them. And these are um this is like the formula, right? Subject plus model plus mean or any main verb, right? Plus complement. It might may mean she can hear you. It can mean she doesn't know. That must mean be quiet. And adverbs, right? Subject, adverb means and complement. Maybe, perhaps it means come here. It possibly or probably means call me. That definitely means you're crazy. I think that you don't have any question about this, right? I guess that you use it very well. So we are going to continue. Let me see here. Yes, we still have 10 minutes. And these are uh, the models. These are more examples, right? Not only with gestures, no solo con gestures, sino que también con, um, with other kind of examples. So we have here model verbs. As you can see, we have a lot of model verbs, not only a could or might or may, right? But we have can for possibility, a may, would, right, and a could. And these are verbs that we can use also for requests, right, para pedir algo educadamente. 
And this is the pattern, right? Modal plus base verb. Eso es lo que le decía, que después de un modal, cualquiera que este sea, va a seguir una base verb. Un base verb. A base verb is one of with no endings. Without ing, ed, s, you see the s? The model always comes before the base verb. We might go to the party tomorrow night. She could decide to join us. Function, we use these models to describe a possible action because of the uncertainty. These models are often used to talk about the future, though sometimes we want to express possibility in the present. I may go traveling next year, future possibility. My keys might be in the car, present possibility. So there is also, a, there's always a possibility, but it can mean that it, it will be in the future or in the present, right? Something that we are guessing, right? We are not only used for, for future statements. More examples, right? They might attend the awards ceremony tomorrow night. He could call you back tonight. He could choose a new color of paint for the bedroom. I might join you if I finish early. The results of the study may shed some light on this condition. So the differences between my, may, might, and could are used for possibility. There is no difference, meaning except formality. No hay diferencia, ¿verdad? Como les digo, son como similares. May, might, and could. May is quite formal. You might see it in formal writing. May is quite common in speaking and writing in British English. And could is also used for past ability. He could finish his project tonight, possibility. He could swim when he was a child, past ability. Uh, could no solo es un modal, también es un verbo que se puede ocupar para habilidades del pasado, ¿verdad? And this is the... This is like the pronunciation, right? Like definitely, right? Absolutely. Probably, maybe. So this is just a little bit of uh, pronunciation, right? Definitely, absolutely. That's the way that they pronounce it. Or uh, probably, maybe, the intonation goes upwards. Okay, this will be the homework for tomorrow. So before the homework, do you have any question about models? or adverbs, preguntas acerca de esto antes de que deje la tarea please do the homework hagan la tarea porque así ustedes practican right so any question preguntas, questions doubts teacher I, I, we, we can use the models uh, not just with the word mean I could I can say she could come home. She could go to the party and talk like like that, right? Yes, of course, right. This is just an example because we are talking about gestures, but you can use it with any verb, right? I, it could she could go to the party, right? You could come early, right? You you must eat vegetables, right? So you can use it with different verbs, not only mean. Se pueden usar con varios verbos, no solo means. Another question? No questions. Okay, I will give you the homework right now. Please do the homework because this will be the practice and then I can give you feedback, right? If you are using something wrong or incorrectly or if the pronunciation was not correct, anything, right? I can give you feedback in that. So things I change. It says um, things that you probably change, right? You can say uh, that you, you could change right now if you had the opportunity or probably something from the past, algo que quisieran cambiar, right? O que quieran cambiar. Lo pueden hacer en el presente o en el pasado. And we have an example here. If I have to relieve last year, I will definitely exercise more. I definitely wouldn't watch as much TV and will probably work out at the gym more. I will try to stop snacking so much, but I probably wouldn't give up ice cream because it's my favorite snack. 
if I exercise more and ate less junk food. I will lose some weight. I probably feel a lot healthier too. So uh, you can write something like a paragraph like this to mention things that you probably change or you, you must change um, or something that you could do right differently. So this is this will be the the activity for tomorrow. Eso van a traer un parrafito, un parrafo pequeño, y ahí ponen lo que quisieran cambiar usando lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Models and adverbs, right? These ones. Maybe, must. I must eat healthier, right? Debo de comer más saludable. Uh, in that way, I probably will, I, I probably, I, I will probably feel better. Uh, probablemente me sentiré mejor, ¿verdad? If I eat, if I eat healthier. So questions about this? Uh, preguntas acerca de la tarea? Questions? No questions? Are you going to do the homework tomorrow? ¿La van a hacer? It's just a small paragraph. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes right. Okay, yes. perfect. Perfect. Yes, okay, yes. perfect. Yes, I will try. <laughs> I will try. Okay. <laughs> also, this uh, this is another another example, right? Okay. Next year, probably, I will eat healthier, right? Let's see here. Next year, probably, I will eat healthier. I'll definitely stop eating junk junk food. Maybe, I will travel more with my family and my friends. Also, I could change my job and rest more. I might watch more movies in English than in Spanish. So that is another another uh, example, right, that we can use. So something that you might change. Algo que ustedes quieran cambiar, por ejemplo, este año, o para practicar más el inglés, etc., right? And tomorrow, maybe, I bring the home. Ah, no mentira, teacher. <laughs> maybe, exactly, maybe, maybe. And also these are, um, this is a, like a little information about adverbs, right? So these are uh, adverbs of probability. Esos así se llaman, eh, adverbios de probabilidad. And it show how certain we are about something. The commonest adverbials of probability are certainly, clearly, Definitely, obviously, maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. As you can see, it's not only possibly, or probably, or maybe, or might, right? We have more, right? Clearly, certainly, obviously, maybe, right? We have more adverbs of possibility. And we have more examples here. Maybe today it will rain at night. Possibly, my husband will go to the doctor tomorrow. I will definitely sleep tonight. Probably my mother will cook spaghetti tomorrow. I will probably sleep late tonight. So you see, we have more information about this, about these adverbs. And this is the way the way that we can use it, right? Maybe and perhaps usually come at the beginning of the close. Maybe and perhaps, maybe and perhaps normalmente van al principio, right? Perhaps the weather will be fine. Maybe it won't rain. Other adverbs or possibility usually come in front of the main verb. Eh, unos van enfrente o antes de el verbo principal. He is certainly coming to the party. Will they definitely be there? We will possibly come to England next year or after the present simple or past simple of be. They are definitely at home. She was obviously very uh, surprised. But these adverbs sometimes come at the beginning of a clause for emphasis. Obviously, she was very surprised. Possibly, possibly we will come to England next year. So as you can see, ellos, los adverbios pueden cambiar, no solo van a ir después de, pero aquí, por ejemplo, van um, al frente porque para hacer más énfasis, ¿verdad? And obviously and possibly. Así que así lo pueden utilizar los adverbs of certainty y también los models, ¿ok? Mañana les voy a dar uh, más feedback si ustedes traen su tarea. 
Okay, do you have any question about the information about today? Preguntas? No questions before ending the class? Okay, so that no. must okay. So that must mean it's perfect. Everything's clear. So I will see you tomorrow at 7:55 and have a nice evening, okay? See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. <laughs>